On March 28, 2025, a powerful earthquake ripped through the heart of Myanmar, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Registering a magnitude of 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale, the earthquake unleashed a force equivalent to 334 atomic bombs, shaking buildings, fracturing roads, and forever altering the landscape. The epicenter, located deep within the Earth's crust, sent shockwaves that rippled across the region, impacting neighboring countries and sending tremors as far as Thailand. The quake, which struck with the suddenness of a lightning bolt, served as a stark reminder of the immense power that lies beneath our feet. It was a force of nature capable of reshaping the Earth's surface in an instant leaving behind a legacy of destruction and despair. The initial tremor felt across a vast area was followed by a series of aftershocks, each one a hammer blow to an already reeling region. As the dust settled and the initial shock subsided, the true scale of the disaster began to emerge. The earthquake had left a scar across Myanmar, with reports of widespread damage and loss of life. Buildings lay in ruins, their once proud structures reduced to piles of rubble. Roads, the arteries of commerce and communication were severed, hampering rescue efforts and isolating communities. The Myanmar earthquake was a tragedy of immense proportions, a stark reminder of the vulnerability of human societies in the face of nature's raw power. In the aftermath of this disaster, the world watched with a mixture of horror and compassion as the people of Myanmar confronted the daunting task of rebuilding their lives. The immediate aftermath of the earthquake was a scene of chaos and devastation. The death toll climbed rapidly exceeding 1,600 within the first few days, with many more reported missing or injured. Rescue workers struggled to reach those trapped beneath the rubble, their efforts hampered by the widespread damage to infrastructure and communication networks. The earthquake's impact extended far beyond the epicenter. Aftershocks, some registering magnitudes greater than 6.0, continued to rattle the region in the days and weeks that followed, causing further damage and spreading fear among the already traumatized population. These aftershocks, a grim reminder of the Earth's continued instability, hampered rescue and relief efforts, making it even more challenging to reach those in need. Hospitals already strained by years of political instability and a lack of resources, were overwhelmed with the influx of injured, medical supplies dwindled rapidly, and doctors and nurses worked tirelessly, battling exhaustion and despair to save as many lives as possible. The earthquake had exposed the fragility of Myanmar's healthcare system, highlighting the urgent need for international assistance. As the initial shock subsided, the true scale of the disaster began to unfold. The earthquake had left an indelible mark on Myanmar, not just in terms of physical damage, but also in the psychological scars etched on the faces of its people. The road to recovery promised to be long and arduous, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. Assessing the full extent of the damage proved to be a daunting task. Myanmar, already grappling with internal strife and political turmoil, faced significant challenges in coordinating rescue efforts and gathering accurate information from the affected areas. Communication blackouts, a consequence of the earthquake's impact on infrastructure, further hampered efforts to understand the scale of the disaster. The country's ongoing civil strife marked by violence and displacement cast a long shadow over the relief operations. Access to certain regions, particularly those controlled by ethnic armed groups, remained restricted, making it difficult to deliver aid and assess the needs of those affected. This lack of access fueled fears that the true death toll could be far higher than initially reported. The earthquake's impact went beyond the immediate loss of life and property. The disruption to essential services, such as water, sanitation, and healthcare, posed significant risks to the health and well-being of survivors. The potential for disease outbreaks, particularly in overcrowded displacement camps, added another layer of complexity to the already dire situation. The challenges in assessing the damage underscored the urgent need for international cooperation and assistance. With communication lines down and access to affected areas restricted, the international community played a crucial role in providing vital support and expertise to aid in the recovery process. Beacons of Hope International Aid and Operation Brahma In the wake of the disaster the international community responded with an outpouring of support and aid. 
Neighboring countries including India and Thailand were among the first to offer assistance, sending search and rescue teams, medical personnel, and essential supplies. International organizations, such as the United Nations and the Red Cross, mobilized their resources to provide humanitarian aid and support to the affected communities. India, in a remarkable display of solidarity and compassion, launched Operation Brahma, a large-scale humanitarian mission aimed at providing immediate relief to the people of Myanmar. This operation, named after the Hindu god of creation, involved the deployment of aircraft and naval vessels carrying essential supplies, medical teams, and specialized disaster response units. India's swift and comprehensive response, driven by a sense of shared humanity and regional responsibility, provided a much-needed lifeline to the people of Myanmar. The aid delivered through Operation Brahma, encompassing everything from food and water to medical supplies and temporary shelters, played a crucial role in alleviating the suffering caused by the earthquake. Thailand, despite experiencing its own share of tragedy with at least 17 earthquake-related deaths in Bangkok, demonstrated remarkable resilience and compassion by extending a helping hand to its neighbor. The Thai government, alongside various NGOs and volunteer groups, provided medical assistance, temporary shelter, and other forms of support to those affected by the disaster. Myanmar, a country with a rich and complex history, has faced numerous political challenges over the decades. From colonial rule under the British Empire to gaining independence in 1948, Myanmar's journey has been tumultuous. The country was under military rule for nearly five decades, starting from 1962, which led to widespread human rights abuses and economic stagnation. In 2011, Myanmar began a transition towards democracy, with the military junta officially dissolving and a civilian government taking over. However, the military still retains significant power, and the political landscape remains fragile. Aung San Suu Kyi, a Nobel Peace Prize laureate, emerged as a key figure in Myanmar's pro-democracy movement. Her party, the National League for Democracy NLD, won a landslide victory in the 2015 general elections, marking a significant shift in the country's political dynamics. Despite this, the military continues to wield considerable influence, and the Rohingya crisis has drawn international condemnation, highlighting ongoing ethnic tensions and human rights issues. Myanmar's political backdrop is further complicated by its diverse ethnic composition, with over 135 distinct ethnic groups. Ethnic armed conflicts have been a persistent issue, with various groups seeking greater autonomy. The peace process has seen some progress but achieving lasting peace remains a significant challenge. The country's economic landscape has also seen changes, with reforms aimed at attracting foreign investment and boosting growth. However, Myanmar's economy is still grappling with the impacts of international sanctions, internal conflicts and natural disasters like Cyclone Nargis in 2008, which caused widespread devastation. Myanmar's future is uncertain with the ongoing struggle between democratic aspirations and military control. The resilience of its people and their hope for a better future continue to drive the nation's journey towards stability and prosperity. The international community's role in supporting Myanmar's democratic transition and addressing human rights concerns remains crucial. As Myanmar navigates its complex political landscape, the impact of natural disasters like earthquakes adds another layer of challenge. The country's ability to respond to such crises is often hampered by its political and economic instability, making recovery efforts even more difficult. Understanding Myanmar's political backdrop is essential to grasp the full context of its struggles and resilience in the face of adversity. Tectonic plates are massive slabs of Earth's lithosphere that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Their movements are responsible for much of the seismic activity we experience. The Myanmar earthquake was primarily caused by the interaction between the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate. As these plates collide, immense pressure builds up until it's released in the form of an earthquake. This process is known as subduction, where one plate is forced beneath another, generating powerful seismic waves. The ongoing rescue operations in Myanmar are a race against time. Rescue teams face immense challenges as they search through the rubble of collapsed buildings and damaged infrastructure. Local and international rescue teams are working tirelessly, coordinating their efforts to maximize efficiency. The continuous threat of aftershocks adds another layer of danger, making the rescue operations even more perilous. Safety measures are being implemented to protect both the rescuers and the survivors, including the establishment of makeshift shelters and the provision of medical aid. Despite the risks, 
the determination and resilience of the rescue teams shine through as they strive to save lives and bring hope to the affected communities.